Thanks for joining us. A Beloit man charged with first degree reckless homicide appears in court for the first time today. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter joins us now with the other side of the story and how a family is remembering their loved one. Well, many of us have heard stories of drugs, overdoses, and the opioid epidemic in Wisconsin, but rarely do we hear from families dealing with the loss of a loved one firsthand. Tonight, we meet Olivia. Her family, her love for animals, um, she liked photography, liked being outside uh, with, with, her, with her cousins. Amy Wren says her niece Olivia had a smile that could light up a room. She's carefree and loving and ended up being a very empathetic girl, um, kind to others. The Edgerton teen loved her friends and her family too. After graduation, she started studying for a career in the dental field. But in December of last year, Lots of shock. Um, hard to breathe. She was found unresponsive in her car in the parking lot of the Woodmans in Beloit. She had disbelief that this had actually impacted her and uh, taken her life ultimately. In the weeks that followed, Olivia's family learned she had recently been introduced to heroin by a close friend. On the day she died, she'd taken a lethal dose mixed with fentanyl. This is a true, true epidemic that you think it may not affect people you know, but it absolutely does. Just weeks ago, police say they were able to link Chaz Harris of Beloit to the drugs given to Olivia. He now faces charges of first-degree reckless homicide and made his first appearance in court today. Olivia's family says they'll never forget her love for animals, photography, and others. We just try to, you know, keep her memory alive every day. Despite the fact it's still so hard to believe she's gone. Just look at her face. She's... She's just a normal kid. Olivia's family say they want to create change, most notably working to increase the amount of resources available for people struggling with substance abuse in Rock County. For now, they say even the smallest signs let them know she's there with them each day.